Hey everyone, good morning. We are gonna show some love to the canvas drop cloth here today. Uh, this really humble, inexpensive material that you can have a lot of fun with creatively. And I've shown you, you know, we've used this canvas drop cloth to create some really sweet table coverings. We've cut it up to make flags uh, and different things out of. And I want to just remind you of what a great material and resource this can be for you creatively. Uh, you can get these uh, drop cloths at any home improvement store. You can get them in a variety of sizes, uh, inexpensive. I just get the really cheap ones that uh, don't have any backing or anything uh, to them. And what you can do is you can take your new drop cloth and create all kinds of uh, different sized canvases for you to paint on. It's a really economical way to get a nice selection of canvases to create with. You can build some of your own frames to stretch the canvas around. You can also um, just uh, repurpose some of those wooden picture frames. These work really nicely to stretch your canvas around. Uh, you can also uh, use the canvas drop cloths that you've already used in a project uh, or two that have some uh, you know, paint and things already uh, embedded in it because uh, once in a while, as you're working on different things, some really cool uh, random and unexpected patterns and colors and different designs start to emerge on your drop cloth. And when you see some things that you like, throw that drop cloth in the wash and then you can use it uh, as a fabric uh, to create different things out of. Uh, you can also use your drop cloth that already has the paint and different things on it. This is a really fun starting point for a creative exercise. Um, using this to stretch around your frames to create some of your own canvases. Uh, it's just, you know, it gives you, uh, it opens up your imagination. You may see some different designs uh, in that pattern that you can play off of, that you can build up. And uh, it's just, you know, it's really fun to use that way. Or you can take your washed, uh, previously used drop cloth and you can add to it even further. Washing it is gonna soften up that fabric nicely and then you can build off of it with some really sweet stitch work. You can do it by hand, you can do some embroidery into those designs. You can also build up um, those patterns and things with um, other uh, material that you can, uh, can, some thinner materials, you can really shape and manipulate in different ways. It adds some more texture, some more color, some more pattern, and then just stitch over the top of it. And you're really just being your own uh, designer of fabric <laughs> of sorts. And then you can, um, you can take that drop cloth also and just take it to your sewing machine and sew a bunch of different designs and patterns on it that way. Uh, it makes for a really fun um, upholstery fabric. You can do some cool uh, pillows, uh, out of it. I love to take the uh, drop cloths and create, um, they're perfect for art aprons, shop aprons, different styles, different designs. It's easy to uh, work with and stitch together. And uh, when you are seeing, you know, looking at the different patterns that emerge, um, you know, open your uh, eyes and your imagination, you know, what kind of, what kind of things do I see there? How could I build off of that and play off of it? And just, you know, so many different looks that you can get by, um, this just one inexpensive material that uh, whether you're buying it new and using it straight out of the package or uh, you know playing off of some that you already have. Uh, you can also be really intentional with that new drop cloth that you have, laying it all out, um, wash it, uh, press it, lay it out on a large work surface. And then really, um, you know, if you have a certain pattern, design, color in mind, you can put that all on your fabric and you're creating your own yardage that way. But uh, I know I've had a lot of fun with just this inexpensive material over the years. And I enjoy sharing some of these uh, non-traditional uh, ideas and materials with you uh, because uh, it just shows you that you always have something you can be creative with. It doesn't have to be some big production of getting all of these supplies. Uh, and it really does open up uh, your eyes to seeing beauty in some unexpected places. Uh, it also makes you feel uh, more empowered and resourceful because uh, being uh, creative with just things that you have and seeing what you can do with it and what you can turn it into. It just feels really good. So play around with some canvas drop cloths if you have uh, some, and I think you two will have a lot of fun with it as well. So uh, have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.